we all know, Lego is the best toy in the world. Today we're going to be attempting to build a working driving game out of Lego. The point of the game is to dodge cars that are coming at you. To start this, we're going to need a few tread pieces, but the only way to attach the road is to use a 7x9 stud Technic beam. Then add two studs on the top, two Technic pin connectors on the bottom for connecting to the treads, and after you do all that, you add the road piece itself. The thing about the road pieces though, is that they have to vary from 2x9 to 1x9 in length because of how the tread size is. Then around 20 minutes later, I had constructed more of the pieces, so I added them to the tread. Here's what it looked like when finished. Then I built up some road pieces and added it on what I had just made. But all this road had to go somewhere, so I built up a wall on both sides and added the road and pieces that I had finished. It looked great, and I was basically one third of the way done, but it had been very hard, and I almost gave up. And then I thought about how you would enjoy the video, so I stuck with it. So please consider subscribing. When I restarted, a few of the plates on the bottom were missing, so I had to add them again. Then I started to build the wall. I started by adding four layers of red. Then I decided to add the motor and the battery box. Adding the battery box was a little bit hard, but after some fidgeting, I found a way to turn it on and off. After this was finished, I added a thin layer of red and then started adding a layer of blue. It was looking great at this point, but I quickly ran out of blue, so I decided to destroy my castle mock I had made and use all the gray pieces from it and hopefully they would be enough. But the pieces started to add up. So I started to build. Before I built it up too high, I had to add the base to the steering system, which was not that hard. And then it was time to add the speed control, which meant tearing down part of the wall. After a little fidgeting around on and put the wall back. Then I added one more layer of gray parts around the build and then added plates to cover up all the mechanics. Which, after a while, I finished. Then I built up the steering system and added it to the build. I was super excited when I had finished, so I added a steering wheel to drive it and then added a few minifigure scale controllers for a little minifigure to sit at the top and watch you play. Then I placed a few green pieces on the build and then I was finished. I was super happy about the final result. Here's what it looked like playing it. 